I never understood why AMC apes and GameStop apes can't get along. I've said this a long time, you know, for, for the last two years. We should all get along. We should be actually working together, okay? Not working against each other. And I never understood it. But it seems like you're either an AMC ape or you're a GameStop ape. And honestly, I think GameStop, I hate to say this, is the true Moaz, is the true winner. I'm sorry to say that. I know you're all going to get upset. And I think that GameStop is AMC's only hope. <laughs> okay. Like, in other words, if GameStop has a tremendous run, it might actually be the only thing left that can maybe save AMC after this disgusting 10 for 1 reverse stock split. That's why, look, I don't know yet. Look, I'm really optioning what I want to do with AMC. A part of me is just thinking about just completely selling all of my AMC and just going 100% into GameStop. Okay. Another part of me says, you know what? When GameStop has its run, okay, it might eventually take AMC with it for a little ride. So another part of me is saying, maybe I'll keep a little AMC. I'm not really sure. I'm leading more towards just if, if this vote's going to go through this 10 for one reverse stock split. I'm really leading towards, honestly, just going 100% with GameStop. My gut is just telling me that. My gut is telling me GameStop is the winner. Now, again, I just want you to understand I don't have a crystal ball. I want all of you to understand I am not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. But I just think that, you know, first of all, I, I, I feel more calm and more confident being in GameStop for the long term. I really do. Like, I mean, let's face the facts. AMC is burning cash. It's burning it, man. It's, it, you know, I, how much longer are they going to stay in business? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. It's like my gut is real. If you really want me to be transparent and open with you, my gut is telling me, look, I'm down a shitload of money. I might just have to bite the damn bullet and sell and just go into GameStop. I haven't made that decision yet. I'm still seeing what I'm hoping for a run, okay? I'm hoping for a run before March 14th. Um, I mean, at this point, man, I'd even take it if AMC went over 10. <laughs> if AMC would just go over 10, 15 bucks, I think I'd be freaking thrilled. I'd get more than 50% of my money back. Uh, I mean, if it went over 20, oof. Celebration time. Come on, we're going celebrate. I'll be psyched if AMC went over 20. But... Unfortunately, if AMC just keeps at these low levels and just stays there, I'm FUBAR. Okay, so what does FUBAR mean? F'd up beyond all recognition. <laughs> I'm FUBAR. But I think in the long term, if I accumulate enough GameStop, I'm going to make back all my AMC losses and a lot more. A lot more. Okay. I'm already in the green. I'm in the green right now with GameStop. So you want to laugh? I'm already making back money from my AMC losses. <laughs> it's already happening. And I haven't even started like really my big picture plan. My big picture plan is a five-year plan, possibly even a longer plan with, with GameStop. And just accumulate and accumulate and accumulate. I'm not looking to day trade. I'm not looking to swing trade. I'm not looking to scalp. I'm actually, you know, we, we all say buy and hold. That's what I'm looking to do with GameStop. I was, look, I was considering holding a little AMC, but I, I, I can't tell you what I'm going to do yet. I really can't. I, I don't know because after that 10 for 1 reverse stock split, I think it's going to tank. That's just my opinion. I think it's all over for AMC. We're going to lose 90% of our shares and I think the thing's going to tank. But again, I don't want you to be influenced by me, Okay. Don't listen to a single word I say. Don't listen to me. I'm not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. I'm not an attorney. I don't give legal advice. I'm not a doctor. I'm not an astronomer. I'm not a farmer. <laughs> I try to be a comedian. I'm not maybe so good at it, but I try to be a little funny. But I am 100% an entertainer. And I'm also a piano player. I am the, I feel, in my opinion, the greatest entertainer in the world. The one, the only, eight ball three in the house, baby. What?